Alright guys, welcome to my brand new series. This is The Perfect Journey. It's an absolutely shocking name for a series, but Dunfermline are the team that has been chosen. Dunfermline are the pars, and that made perfect sense in my mind. So, I mean that time I said I was never going to manage in Scotland again in FM16? Yeah, that went completely out the window. So, I was thinking... I've tried a few things, um, obviously I've done the 51 challenge, so I've been all around the world, um, well, at least a large portion of it. Tried a couple of mess around saves, mess about with tactics in England, kind of thought, meh, I really want to find a team I can build up. Because that's what I've missed this year, because of obviously doing the 51 challenge. And I thought to myself, well, we've done Rangers, Rangers was a bit easier because of obviously the high reputation. So as soon as you got to the SPL, you were straight up challenging. It would be something a little bit, a little bit more difficult. And I thought to myself, I'm firm on. Premier League club, in my opinion, that's what the size of the club is. Decent sized stadium. You know, they've been a Premier League club uh, most of my lifetime. Now languishing in the third tier. They've got some players that should see the, this League One season be pretty straightforward. Next season, it's really more down to how FM plays out rather than how we play out because you get a team who gets relegated from the SPL could cause us problems getting to the Premier League. Or, if Rangers or Hibs don't go up, that could cause a massive problem. But I'm fully confident that I can build a team here and get promoted this year, promoted next year, and then make a challenge uh, in the SPL following season. Maybe top six consolidation the first year up, and then after that, pushing, uh, trying to go for a championship. Also, while we're in League One, I'm also wanting to hopefully have a rerun in the Cups. I think the Challenge Cup, we could have a good chance of winning that, pending on if we draw Rangers. The latest Scottish Cup and the League Cup, again, is all about who we draw. But there's no reason why we don't have the quality to beat certain, uh, certain teams. Now, I won't be playing any matches of that today. I won't even be building a tactic. I can tell you now, I'm hoping to go 4 1 3 2. Solid back four, a DM, two wingers, a central midfielder, and two up front. Reason for that being, it's League 2. A lot of it's going to be direct. I'm going to try and play a lot through the wings. We have very good wingers at this club. Don't have a lot in the middle. Uh, and I've already got my eyes on one striker on loan from Rangers, who apparently is very good this year. So I've been told by my good friend on the old Twitter, John says this guy is phenomenal. Um, you can see him coming in a future episode if we sign him. If we fail, I'll let you know who it was. And I'm going to run through a lot about the team, just a bit of an introduction to, to let you see who they are. Right, so goalkeeping-wise, uh, well, actually, to be honest, pretty much most of the team has a bit of SPL experience in some sort of way. Uh, David Hutton. Does not, but is a very solid goalkeeper. Um, I think he peaked at Clyde a while ago. As you see, nothing you don't get anything outstanding at this level. Or just do a job. Uh, the standard here will probably be about Conference North, Conference South. But say so David Hutton used to play for Clyde. Played for Aberdeen as a youth, but um, never made the first team. More kind of youth appearances and stuff like that. But uh, good run at Clyde. Queen of the South, Hamilton, Morton. So it's, it's a decent level. Two seasons at air. This will be his first season at Dunfermline. Sean Murdoch, the other goalkeeper, again, nothing spectacular, but he has Premier League experience previously at Dunfermline, where he can play the system. Also played for Hamilton a few times in the Premier League. Had a step down in League 2 with Accrington Stanley, and then again in the Premier League with Hibernian. I think I'm probably going to opt for David Hutton as a goalkeeper. Ryan Wilson, probably more potential to hear him going forward, but again, only 19, a youth product from from Fairmont's Academy, he's someone we'll work on. We'll probably get him up to the Premier League and then maybe look to sell him on. Andy Gregan, or Gregan, sorry, uh, a couple of decent attributes there. I should definitely do a, a ton for his here. His career has mostly been in the lower leagues of Scotland. He was in Livingston but never really never featured. Got his career back up from Dumbarton. Good season at air, and then he's been at Dunfermline for a couple of seasons now as well. I'm just going to run through a couple of guys that have probably had ex-SPL experience. Ben Richards Ever uh, Everton, former Partick Thistle youth. Might be a starter here. Tackling isn't great, but I feel like there's a defender we can build there. Um, he's pretty much had uh, one appearance at Partick, a couple of other appearances at Airdrie. Uh, came through basically the non-league system in England there. You can see there Romulus, uh, Cragley, Hinkley, Russell, Sutton, Tamworth, you name it. He's been there. John Potter, a lot of experience, so I don't think he's really going to feature unless we really, really need him. Um, he's been at the Fairmont for a couple of seasons. So I going to go back at Celtic, way back in 1996. Uh, I think he played in that famous uh, Clyde team that beat Celtic. 
definitely was part of the club at the time. I don't know if he actually played in that game. Uh, it was a good career in the Premier League at St Mirren. Talking the Premier League, Brad Mackay. He's far, he's far too good to be playing at this level in the game. Uh, highly, highly rated defender in real life. He's just never really kicked for him since he moved from Hearts to St Johnson. But um, he should stroll with us um, this season and I'd be very surprised if we keep him on. Because he's just really good in this game. And um, it'll be definitely be him and one other at the back. Lewis Martin, I think he's a youth player I don't know a lot about. Same with Sean Rooney. Jason Talbot, former Livingston captain. Pretty good attributes. Should stand out at this level. As I say, they brought him in from champ uh, championship side Livingston. He won the leagues with Livingston after a spell at Port Vale and Mansfield. And even a couple of appearances at Derby. Bill and loan from Premier League Bolton. Josh Falkingham, I don't know a lot about, but there's definitely room there. It can turn into a, a decent player. Came through the Leeds Academy, had an appearance at St. Johnson for ending out at some firm one. He's been a regular, so he may be someday we look to play. Um, Bruce McCabe is a former Rangers youngster who left, I believe, when they went into administration, who ended up at Sheffield Wednesday. Never really clicked at Sheffield Wednesday. I think he'd loan spell at Portsmouth. I want to say the loan spell at Crew. I must be. Again, mixed up with uh, Jamie Ness. I say he looked like he had a decent bit of potential. It's just never happened. Again, he should be somebody that should be strolling this level, but it remains to be seen. But he someday will hopefully build the team around. Uh, Sean Brown, Blue Spence, I don't know too much about either. Joe Cardell is another former Premier League player. He played at Ross County. Stats have decreased a good little bit, but he was always one I'd always try and get to, to mother on a save. You can see. Um, Confirmed before in the Premier League, Ross County in the Premier League, in his instance, um, Championship with Clyde, Airdrie, you name it. He's a very, very talented player. It just seems when it gets to the Premier League, he tends to struggle. Now, this is the one everybody's raving about in real life. Basile El Back 2 A. You think there doesn't look too good? He isn't too bad considering this guy has played senior football for three seasons. He's a former futsal player. Uh, and in real life, a lot of the uh, Premier League teams and Championship teams are looking at him. Likes of Hibs, uh, I believe Moral may have looked at him, and a few others as well. He's definitely somebody that will be playing up front for us alongside our striker, if we can bring him in. But um, the sky's the limit for L-back 2. We don't have a face-back from him. I'll have a look and see if I can get a League 1 face-back. If not, we'll, we'll try and find a way of getting some sort of face-back in for L-back 2. Brian Wallace, I believe, used to play for Alloa. Nope, he didn't, it's another one. East Fife. Score goals at a lower level. Might be a decent backup. David Hopkirk, I don't know a lot about. Michael Payton, we had him last year at Hereford when we were in the conference, I believe. Former Aberdeen youth player. Played a couple of seasons at Queen of the South. Um, but to be honest, he'll be something with kind of like a backup. Um, PJ Crossan is a youngster. Michael Moffat is just an experienced pro in the lower league, so they got from Air United. Um, scores goals. Maybe didn't score as many goals last season, but he'll be like a backup. He certainly scored a good few goals this year in real life. Um, i say he'll probably be like striker number three. Uh, and Mikel Anton Courier, the former Hamilton Ackies and a Hibs striker. Add in Dundee as well. Uh, certainly been a lot of places over his career. And Dunfermline's just uh, another one of those, but he scored goals. Mostly in Scotland, um, if you can see there, maybe Malaysia was a one-off, but you see there, Hamilton goals, Hamilton goals there, Hamilton again, Dundee goals, and um, a very good spell at Vard in Norway. Not a great spell down in England, but uh, amazing to think how many loan spells he's had, or many spells he's had at Hamilton. I mean, 32, a bit of experience, and should do the, the job in the, in the third tier of Scottish football. So that's really the team. You know, it's a team that were in the Premier League um, quite recently. It's just a case of us getting them back there um, if we can. As you can see there, Ladbrokes Premier League, they were there as recently as 2011-12 where they finished bottom. Then they get relegated again to the League One from the Championship, finishing 9th in 2nd place and 7th place is where they've been. But they should stand out. They should be well and truly getting promoted to the Championship and then hopefully back up to the Premier League because I say 11,904 at East End Park it certainly can sell out. So that's pretty much it for this episode guys. The only other things I'll say is, is we're using the Kids update 
so it's updated right until the end of the transfer window. Unfortunately, Craig Reed, who moved to Dunfermline in real life, moved the day after it was released. It's just one of those things. Um, not really too fussed about that. So I'm just saying, well, hopefully we'll give you series here. Hopefully this will take us all the way through to FM 17. I.e., I want to try and make this a long, long-term save. I hope you enjoy it. As I say, target is just winning the league and a couple of decent cup runs would be ideal. We'll probably go with the typical SPL method of um, selling a player every so often, recruiting loans and youths. But you can see bottom corner, 22k to spend, got about a grand in wages. We'll just try and bring that in with some loan signings just to build the squad up. So that's it guys, thank you for watching the introduction video to the Dunfermline save, the perfect journey. Hopefully it is the perfect journey and it doesn't end up being an absolute disaster. As I say, thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the episode leave a little thumbs up. If you get any comments, have you managed Dunfermline yourself? Um, is there any players you think that would suit Dunfermline? Is there any memories you have of Dunfermline? Maybe you've visited East End Park? Let me know in the comments section below. But as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all real soon. Bye bye.